Defensive line is an area the Browns probably looking at. Um, Trevor, Braden Fisk was a guy that early on the process um, some guys had mocked to the Browns. I, he kind of went off at the combine. Do, do you think he kind of moved – out of the range of where the uh, the Browns will be. I mean, he, he looked like a linebacker in a 292-pound uh, frame. But do you think he moved up the draft board pretty significantly? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, yeah, him playing well, that's that's putting it lightly. Or him performing well at the combine, that's putting it lightly. I mean, he was number one for defensive tackles in the vertical jump and the broad jump and the 40-yard dash. I mean, he just showed that he was an absolute mover out there, which is good because that's what his tape says, right? When you watch Braden Fisk, he's a little bit undersized, and he's not quite that 300-pound defensive lineman. But what he does for you is he's a good one-gap penetrator. He's somebody who's going to immediately get into the backfield in through his gap and he's going to get into the quarterback or the running back and he did that a ton at western michigan and then also at you know, florida state this past year so he is somebody who it feels as though 54 to expect him to be there that'd be a stretch at this point you know i think that he's probably going to be an early second round pick uh, i don't think he's going to creep his way into the first round just because um you know that, that weight it's not for every team and i don't know how many teams out there think that he could be a total three down interior defensive lineman but certainly for a specialized role for a team that already has a big bodied player, maybe to play nose tackle, to take up some blocks. If you get Braden Fisk one on one, he's got the quickness to get in the backfield to really generate those pressures. So he is somebody who has been a fast riser throughout the draft process. And there's no doubt about it. He is uh, he's on the up.